Hey guys, welcome to this week's Hot or Not Thursday. We are gonna be taking a cruise and pro and conning, hot or notting, a very, very hot or notting, that sounded weird, a very, very exciting launch. Tomorrow, Laura Lee is launching her Cat's Pajamas palette, and I am here to swatch it all for you, talk about the palette, talk about the pros, the cons, everything in between. I'm gonna give you a mini eye tutorial of what is on my eyes right now. My hands have been in this palette. I have been drying it. I have been mixing colors. I have been playing with it with other palettes and really trying to gather my thoughts 100% before sitting down and talking about it because this is a fellow YouTuber that does happen to be a friend of mine. So it's a little bit tricky, you know, when you go into a review with a friend that's launching a product because, you know, I'm not out to throw her under the bus or say anything negative, but I still want to do what I do and give a full honest review. So we are gonna do that. And I also just wanna say congrats to Laura because this is a long time coming. This is a hard thing to pull off. She did this by herself without, you know, any other brand involved. This is all her own blood, sweat, and tears. And it does take a lot of time. You know, I've watched her as we've become closer friends over the past year, really, you know, put all of that effort into making this so good for her subscribers. And that means getting a shade, sending it back to the lab, getting a shade, sending it back to the lab, you know, and repeating that process until you find something that is just right. And that kind of thing takes a long time. And I think for YouTubers, when we decide to launch products, a lot of us are taking the opportunity of what we do on YouTube and really trying to bring quality products to the market that don't have the same motive, I feel, as a lot of larger corporations. You know, there's more passion, there's more heart, there's more consideration for what the person purchasing the item is going to get. You know, you're more likely to not cut corners when you are a YouTuber, I feel, and when you touch and play with product 24 seven, you know what is good and you know what is not good. So um, all in all, this is a pretty cool product and a really good palette. We're gonna go through everything. So what you get with the Laura Lee Los Angeles brand is this beautiful package. I actually think that um, the box that it comes in is quite beautiful. I love the logo. It's floral, it's cute. Yeah, it's called the Cat's Pajamas. And if you didn't know what Cat's Pajamas is, it is a uh, term for like being cool, like it's cool. Um, it's the bee's knees, it's the Cat's Pajamas, it's the, who invented these actually? We are the Cat's Pajamas from Branson, Missouri. If you're the Cat's Pajamas, you're the hip of the hip, the coolest of the cool. So this is what the palette looks like. If you could hold this in your hands, and just feel it and just enjoy how sparkly this is, but smooth. It is like very enticing and just magical to look at. It is so sparkly. I've never seen a palette with this type of packaging. I really apologize because I should have done a shot of the palette before I like, like went straight in and went to town. But when I cracked into this box, I immediately sat down and I was just like, Ch -ch -ch. I was like swatching, playing, trying, testing. And so this one is a little loved already, but uh, this is what the palette looks like. Let's go through the shades really, really quickly um, and then get to a little mini tutorial. So the first shade, Okie Dokie, is one of my favorites in the entire palette. And it's kind of an odd one to open this up and just go straight to that and be like, oh, this kind of basic cream shade is my favorite, but it's a very different uh, cream. It's not overly opaque, but it definitely covers and it builds, and it is the perfect matte brow bone highlight. This is beautiful, effortless to blend. I have it in the inner corner as well, and you can use this all over the lid, or you could pack it on the lid if you wanted to do a completely matte look. It's very bright, and it has exactly the right kind of um, creaminess to it. It's not overly pale white, it's not too yellow. It's just the perfect cream. I think she really got this one right. It is, I think it is my favorite. I have two that I'm really, really into. Okay, so then we have Scatterbrain, which is gorgeous. The metallics, I think you need to use some type of a setting spray if you're gonna have this all over the lid or definitely use an eyeshadow primer. Um, you will have a little bit of fallout, but that being said, with having a little bit of fallout, it is just smooth and it doesn't build or clump on the lid. It doesn't uh, grab into those lines of your eyes where sometimes I feel like when I use a metallic, it just kind of grabs at certain areas of my eyelid and it does not smooth out. This goes on extremely, extremely satin-like and smooth, but it packs a big metallic punch. 
Then we have Balm Diggity, which I think is a great name because this is one of those shades that you can use over and over and over. Any eye look that you do, you're gonna use this in the crease. It's gonna look great. It makes a great backdrop for any lower lash line uh, color that you're doing. If you're going for something bold, it's nice to have kind of a backdrop of something like this shade. And it's a very unusual shade. A lot of people that I've seen online talking about this palette, one of the gripes is, oh, I've seen these colors before, but I have pulled out so many of my palettes and there is nothing that is quite this tone. It is extraordinarily flattering on green eyes. And I have to say the whole palette through and through on green eyes, like anytime I've worn these colors, my eyes are just like, Meh. like they are just, framed in a way that it intensifies my green eyes and I love that. So next door we have Cray Cray. This gets a little bit on the warm side for me because I tend to gravitate toward more neutral tones right now. That's just my thing, but this color, I mean, it blends so well. Let me just do another swatch so you guys can see like right away, look at that. It just blends really, really well. I think that's really the love that she put into this palette was making sure that the formula was so good, that that is what mattered, that everything applied really beautifully. Okay, now we get to Redonculus, which is my other favorite in the palette. This shade looks good with so much. I have mixed this in already with my Marc Jacobs palette. It just, has a quality in it that meshes well with others and it gives this very unusual brightness without being obnoxious. I love this color. It reminds me of Normani shade. I think I spent like $38 on this one shade and the problem was it had fallout everywhere. It wouldn't last a long time on my lid. I feel like I still have it in a drawer over there and I'm half tempted to go and grab it. Um, maybe I'll do that in a minute, but this is the better version of that and it just, it wears well, it really flatters the eye, and it doesn't look crinkly. I love it. Okay, let's get to the bottom row. We have Corky, which is a gorgeous purple. You guys know I'm a sucker for purples, purple anything. I love purple, it's my favorite color, and this is very smooth, it's very wearable. Everything in here, when you swatch it, it is very, very smooth. You notice that right away. Then we have Kooky. This one, you definitely have to build up a little bit. This would be great in the crease. Um, using it on its own underneath the lower lash, you do have to work and build it up a little. So I'd recommend going in with this as the backdrop and this to really set it off. This is one when you swatch it, it's not bam, 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 pigment. It's very like a fade of the color, but it's not patchy. You can see how smooth that is. It's not patchy at all. You just have to work with it and build it up. The con of that can be that it takes you a longer time to get ready if you are looking for that intense burst of color. But the nice thing about it also is if you are a beginner and you go into some of these palettes with the louder colors, you know, your deeper reds and plums, and you dip into a product and go straight to your crease, you're gonna be like, oh wow, that was way too much and have a hard time with it. So I personally have always really loved colors that are buildable but smooth with even pigmentation. And that's what Kooky is. All right, In One Ear is actually also one of my favorites. It's just such a rich cranberry metallic that again, it looks like a cranberry satin sheet and it just kind of sparkles, but in this very subtle, beautiful way. It is absolutely stunning. We have out the other, so it's set up in the palette in one ear, out the other. Um, and I think uh, I feel that way in life a lot of times. So I like the, the naming of those two. This one is really pretty as well. Um, I do wanna say, and I've heard other people mention this also, I personally, like if I were to give this palette one change, I would probably ditch this color just because it is very similar to Quirky. They are different, but when your eye looks at the palette, you're like, oh, like I really wish there was maybe a deeper brown or maybe one more neutral kind of tipping into the warm tone family. I do wish that there was one separate shade. That's all. Then we have the shade Oddball, which you can see I'm just picking that up with my finger right here. And Oddball is extraordinarily pitch black. This is excellent 
for setting your eyeliner with, I do that trick all of the time where I will take my liquid liner or pencil liner, I will take an angled brush and I will dab it along the lash line just to make everything lock in place, not smudge. That's a great trick to do. You could also use a setting spray or a sealant, a fixant to turn oddball into a liquid liner. You can definitely do that. It is rich enough for sure. But the nice thing about having a good rich matte black in a palette like this is you can really do so much as far as doing a smoky eye. You could take this all over the lid, do something really smoky. Then you could take scatterbrain on top and really kind of add some shine to it. So you can work these shades in a very versatile way. Everything from very smoky, you could do a nude tone matte look, you could do a cranberry look, you could do a very purple look. So there was a lot of thought put into how these colors match up with one another. And I think the setup, 95% of it is perfect. It's great. The price tag on this is 49 bucks. It is made here in the US. It is cruelty free and it is made with love and care from a YouTuber that we all know and love. And I think this is A plus. She did an awesome job. I will say one last final thing that is kind of like, it's a small deduction if we go back to the name of Cat's Pajamas. I think it's cute and everything, but, and I've actually never told Laura this. This is like happening in a video. Like I'm always the nice friend that like doesn't want conflict and I don't like, bring things up to just bring things up, but we're doing this right now. I'm not a cat person. Maybe it could be called puppy love. That's what I would name it. <laughs> so to go through what is on my eyes right now that I really, really love. You guys, I love this look. It is not a hard look to do. This didn't take me much time at all. I started out by taking okie dokie all over the lid with a fluffy brush. Then I went into bomb diggity and I spent my time with a larger brush really going back and forth in the high crease, blending it out. It does a lot of the work for you because this is not the kind of shadow that grabs. The mattes in here are the nicest quality. They're very buttery, they're very smooth. They are easy to work with. So this is a very beginner friendly palette. You move next door to cray cray. I wanted to intensify the crease and just bring a little more depth to the entire look. So I spent some time, I took a MAC 2 24 smaller brush and just really worked it back and forth back and forth I did work it a little bit further in toward my nose where I don't always do that but I wanted to balance it out because I knew I was taking a bronzy metallic all over the lid which is what I did next I took the shade redonkulous I did spritz it with a little bit of setting spray and I pressed this and built it up all over the lid it is so gorgeous this is a really hard shade to screw up. There is a tiny bit of fallout, so be warned of that, but it does wear all day long, and if you use an eyeshadow primer, you're not gonna have a problem with creasing. Then on the lower lash line, I did take Cray Cray, and I smoked that out kind of as my backdrop, knowing that I was going in with some of the purple darker shades so that they weren't just harsh on the lower lash line alone. Then I went into Quirky, and I smoked that out just a little bit tighter to the lower lash line, just kind of making all the color mesh and blend and become one. And then I did pull some more color a little bit tighter to the actual lash line with a flatter, more densely packed brush. Then I took Kooky with my finger and I just kind of pressed it on the outer edge just to give a little bit of depth. I just wanted like a tiny bit more on the outer edge of my eye. Not a lot because I was going for more of a rounded smoky look. So I just kind of tapped that on the edge and called it a day. So then I have Okie Dokie underneath the brow bone, which is so gorgeous, smooth and beautiful. I also packed that on the inner corner of my eyes. I popped on some lashes and a little liner and called it good. So we can tell this palette is easy to work with. You can get an eye look done like this very, very quickly. I think the quality of these shadows is incredible. So everybody that is looking at this palette and you know, I've read comments on other videos and on Twitter and I think people are being a bit harsh. They're like, oh, <laughs> I've seen that before, way to be original. And it's like, you know what? You open up any palette, open up this one that I love so much too. Tell me you don't see these colors in other palettes. It's the formula, it's the setup, it's how they work together, it's how easily you're gonna be able to take the palette and make it work for you in your everyday routine. Big congratulations, Laura. I knew that you were gonna do a fantastic job with this palette. You can tell there's a lot of love and passion put into it and 
I think it's awesome. So I'm really excited for her. Again, this launches tomorrow. It's a big thumbs up from me. It's totally hot and I highly recommend it. So there we have it. I love you guys so much. I hope this gave you a good rundown of the entire palette. And let me know if you like this look. I like this look so much. I think this might be like a new, quick, easy go-to. All right, I love you guys. I will see you all in tomorrow's video. Thanks for hanging out with me. Mwah.